Hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the book quester. So today I'll do this review about this book. Nine from the Nine Worlds by Rick Viola himself from the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series. This is the God, this is nine stories from nine worlds. And well, let's get right on to it. So basically, I can't say because there all there's nine chapters and each chapter is a different story. So I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna read you all the chap. I'll just read you all of the all of the names of the chapters. And I'll tell you how ironic they are. So see, see, there's nine chapters. Exactly nine chapters. First of all, Asgard, home of the Sire, just another. Di Decapitated head by Odin. Midgard, home of humans. This is why I hate clothes shopping by Amir Fatlan. Nidalavir, home of the dwarves. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. By Blitzen. Aflahim, home of the light elves. Speaking of trolls. By Hearthstone. Jotunheim, home of the giants. My 8th grade physics actually comes in handy, by Samira Al-Abbas. Helheim, home of hell and the dishonorable dead. Nice doggy, by Thomas T.J. Jefferson Jr. Niflheim, world of ice, fog, and mist. So's your face, by Mallory Queen. Vanaheim, home of the veneer. Well, that was a surprise, by Halfborn Gunderson. Muspelium, Home of the Fire Giants and Demons. I Play With Fire by Alex Fierro. So from these nine hilarious chapters, I love, I think I love, um, let's say number five because Thor is involved. You see, from the start of the book, Thor's been going around farting around the nine worlds. By that, he wants to jog around the ninth world, nine worlds, to get in ten... Uh, I think a million paces, just because he wanted to get a camel on his favorite Midgard television show. So, Thor's running around the whole story. And Samira, she has a mission. She has to take a photo of a rooster. A rooster, seriously? No, a rooster egg. It's one of the signs that'll, that'll start Ragnarok, the end of the world, and, well, all has to keep pretty good watch on it. The thing is, there's Earth's magic is obscuring Odin's view, which means Odin cannot see what is going on there. So, Samira, she has to go and take a photo of it, and she goes there, and there's a giant sitting on it like a freaking mother hen. I mean, what? Seriously? There's a giant sitting on it. And then, but she thought that maybe if she moved the giant's harp, the giant will move away. And so, she t she made a little, she tried to pull it, but she couldn't because it was super heavy. I mean, it's a, it's a harp of a giant, guys. It's not a normal harp. It's huge. It's heavy. And so, she just used her little physics class information, and she tried to pull it then, but she couldn't. And then... Thor came along, chugging, chugging, chug, 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 farting and stuff. And then, Thor got tangled up in the harps, and the harp moved alongside with Thor. So, basically, Thor was running chug, chug, chug through the nine rooms with a harp tied behind him with an angry giant chasing him. I mean, that's hilarious or what? And then Samira took a little photo, and it was all over. And all these, all these nine, all nine chapters are hilarious, and well, you gotta check them out. And seriously, I mean, come on, what could be more hilarious than a farting Thor running around when someone's battling giants? Great book, guys, and a great flashback for the Man in Chase and like always, your bookquester and the bookquester.